Hey my friends, how are you today? Welcome to the video, a big warm welcome. Thanks for joining me. So in this video, I just want to make a little point about like, in terms of like domestic arguments, arguments between couples, um, between people, neighbors, or even different groups, um, or just general like bullying or aggressive behavior. Um, so, so in my experience, hurt people hurt others. There's a quotation for you. And then there's also um, people who usually are aggressive and confrontational. They react in the fight mode, which is just a fight, flight, or freeze. Some people freeze. Some people take flight and run when, with confrontation or aggression or danger. And others are instinctively reactive in a fight mode. So I feel the people who react aggressively, um, not just in the fight, in the fight type of like confrontation, like stand up for yourself mode, but for people who are particularly aggressive or like angry and confrontational in general, and, and even just between like couples uh, or anyone, it could be a neighbor, it could be anybody whatsoever, a stranger. Uh, people with a lot of like, in, they, they have basically been treated very aggressively themselves in the past. Um, physically, it could be physical abuse, it could be mental or, or and emotional. So. Like I said to somebody today, it can be a form of like PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. It's a form of a trauma and unhealed trauma and unhealed stress. Um, deep stress, deep trauma. Um, so for me, the answer is to twofold. Inwardly and emotionally, it's, it's, and mentally, it's about having compassion and understanding and empathy, trying to put ourselves in their shoes. It's about the idea of judge, don't judge another person until you've walked in their shoes or understood, walked their lifetime. So for me personally, I'm, I'm not here to judge anybody whatsoever, but because um, I haven't walked their lifetime. I don't know, I don't know what they're going through. I don't know where they are, where they're from, who they are from an experiential level of being them. So I'm not here to judge, to condemn, to criticize, to cast moral or ethical judgment necessarily. I'm not here to condemn anybody. Um, I may have my own different ethical beliefs, but I'm not here to condemn anybody, to cast judgment from a higher place as if I'm better than them or above them or higher than them. I am not So for me, I've reached a very peaceful place in my life. And I'm very glad, but it's been a, a lot of inner work for many years and it's been trials and tribulations. There's been many, many, many mistakes. So I'm just making this video to help you. And um, from an out, outward perspective, um, you'll is to protect yourself now if you get the emotional inner part right you will be protecting yourself because you won't be making mistakes and getting yourself into danger but being overly confrontational yourself or aggravating another person who's already flipped the lid like they're losing control so for me inner work really helps to protect and empower yourself so it keeps you more in charge and in control of, of, of a situation and yourself you're able to contain the situation or help contain another person from losing the plot altogether now, the person who's lost the plot the most, they're the ones suffering the most. So the person in control the most or, or um, is the most empowered and they have the most responsibility, the most ability to respond from a, from a clearer mind and from their heart. So from a more spiritual perspective, it's, 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 it's up more to the person to a certain degree, of course. It's not all of their responsibility, but it's, it's up to the person who's more empowered to make more empowered responses instead of hurt reactions from within them so the more healed person is more empowered the more healed person is more clear the more healed person is less reactive and more like sort of in control and methodical and clear of how to respond from a favorable position which helps benefit everybody so the more empowered and higher vibrational person is unity consciousness which you care and consider everybody you're not just taking sides or condemning and judging one person as being the terrible wrong person and uh, you have to do away with them or hurt them or fight them or beat them or like hurt them you know you're like against them from a more higher perspective you're caring for everybody it's a little bit like parenthood you care for your children so often when an adult is very hurt the child in them has been traumatized in younger years because it started as a lovely child right they weren't just a bad child they, they may have had abuse from their step-parents, their parents, their relatives, their siblings, or other people. 
you know. So before they were, children are born pure, from what I gather, seem to be absolutely beautiful children are before they're conditioned, traumatized, programmed, uh, you know, hurt, like abused, uh, aggressive, aggressive behavior put upon them sometimes. Sometimes it's very bad, like mentally, emotionally, physically. I've had to heal a lot of my own trauma too. It's taken me a long time. I've been on the journey for 15 years, but I've made the most progress in the last few years. So all in divine timing, we're not here to judge or compare necessarily because we all walk different paths in life, truly. Um, so, um, yeah, it's good to protect yourself also. Like if, if you feel like you're not very empowered or you just feel like you will lose control, it's better just to take a step back, de-escalate, try and look after yourself and practice self-care and self-love. And just take care of yourself, my friends, you know? And it's good to have, try and have like a stop button, so to speak, if you are having, getting into regular arguments with like somebody close to you, like in your family or your partner, where you can try and like say, hey, listen, let's just like take a break now. We're, we've said enough. It's only going to get worse. We, we don't want to hurt each other anymore. I feel really hurt. You feel really hurt. Let's just take a break and we'll like seek a bit of help or support from others or just try and relax and wine by having a bath, going for a walk, essential oils, Epsom salt, bath, shower, talking to some friend who's more empowered and clearer and not just trying to like make you only the victim and the other person only the perpetrator. Because usually when two people are hurting, they both perpetrate against the other and two people end up getting victimized. Of course, one person can do it more, but really the higher journey is about taking responsibility for our own contribution instead of just acting like the poor only victim where the other person is the pure baddie and the only person who made a mistake or did any wrong. So this, I've walked this path deeply, I've threaded it thoroughly. I know what I'm talking about from my own personal experience and um, I hope this video like helps you, you know. But yeah, look after yourself, I care for you, I want you to be safe, I want others to be safe. I don't want people to be fighting each other or hurting each other physically, mentally or emotionally. I want, to just, I want you to have compassion. For me, what I've learned from the 9D Ectorian Council is compassion, love and forgiveness. And another thing I've learned is envisioning the sick or unwell or like the person who's like out of sorts, out of alignment, envision them back to health and happiness and normality again. Okay, don't don't have an image or an idea of this is who they are. Your your worst moment doesn't show your true colors. It shows your the opposite of your true colors. Your best moments show you your true someone's true colors. The people's worst moments show us their hurt colors. So this is imperative to understand, my friends, and it'll totally help heal your heart. Because the most I've ever hurt or suffered myself in my life is when I was disconnected from my heart and a closed hurt heart that was hurting. But when I looked at my partner now, it's not only about my partner, it could be about anybody. But I remember in particular one, one instance now, one or two of them in particular too, maybe. We had a bit of a breakup. We're living a little bit separately for a good few days or more. But it was only when we stopped typing and I actually like looked face to face in a video call that I saw her pain and I was able to... I was able to let out my own pain of my own hurt and closed heart and I was able to let, like feel into her and see her teariness and I was able to let out some teary tears too and let out my hurt and that's when I felt so much better like a big huge relief a big weight off my shoulder and um, you, I know this is how it works with you also uh, it's not per se just or only another person who causes her pain they push her buttons to help rise pain that's already within us so we can release it from a spiritual perspective but by feeling it understanding it honoring it letting it go harmlessly without attacking others with the pain for example anger you know not to be attacking others so it's when i healed and i was able to open my own heart that's when i felt the relief and the happiness, the peace again. Letting it, it let, helped me let go of the sort of big ball of stress or tension or tightness that was in me. And yeah, I hope this helps you. It's a very important video and topic because if we can master this, my friends, and this video is just one video, but it could take you years of work to get this down very well. Thankfully, I feel I've more or less gotten it down for the most part, for sure now. And yeah, it's it's been a long road. It's 
I'm not just saying this for the first time. It's been a long road. <laughs> a lot of practice, a very lot of practice, a lot of opportunity for her to, to come up again in me and for me to make more mistakes. But little by little, little the more mistakes and experiences you, you, you gain. The same with diet too, the more experiences or mistakes you make or the more mistakes or opportunities you gain, the clearer and better you are typically overall for the most part. And you keep progressing forward in life with empowerment and with heart. A heart heals. So like I said in other videos, respond from our heart instead of our head and from our heart. So everyone, I hope you liked this video. Lots of love to you, care for you. Please give this a like and a share. Hit the bell button and click the all so you receive notifications of my future uploads. I'd love to have you on board, join the channel, join what this channel is about, which is unity consciousness, co-creating and creating a, a sweeter, more beautiful new world for all of us, a higher frequency, more five dimensional, fourth dimensional, much nicer, kinder world. It's about healing ourselves and it's about helping to heal or to support others and their healing and expansion journey it's about not fighting with others but becoming part of their team it's about inclusivity it's about welcomeness um, it's about it's about kindness and yeah, it's about sort of treating others with dignity and respect and in a sense parenting ourselves and parenting others with with grace and kindness and friendliness so a lot of friendliness and um, welcomeness and um, kindness yeah few nice topics there okay and this the attributes of this channel's core message for the most part as well as personal healing and creating the life of our dreams as well and a relationship of our dreams which this channel is hugely about too so um yeah for anyone who would also like any personal healing or family healing or relationship healing it's my passion and joy and i have books and video courses coming out i do also coaching on these topics and I also have a herb store, so 20% off new first-time subscribers and 10% off recurring customers. Appreciate all of your help and support and love. And to connect with me on social media, such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Odyssey, and Telegram, please check out my links below the video. And I'd love to hear from you and to connect or to collaborate. Thanks, my friends. Glad you joined. Thanks for watching.